Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to another morning devotion in Acts. Uh, today, I think I was given a trap because the scripture for the day is about a riot in Ephesus. Uh, so we're going to talk about chapter 19, verses 23 through 41. That's chapter 19, verses 23 through 41. Basically, what happens is this. Paul is very successful when he preaches. Uh, so successful that people are leaving the religion of the area, and uh, which is a big deal because in Ephesus, there is this thing called the Temple of Artemis. It's one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. It was this huge, magnificent temple to the god, the goddess Artemis. But part of that uh, religion was buying these silver statues, these silver amulets, all these different kind of silver worked things to give you good luck, to give you safe travels, to give you all sorts of benefits. Well, the silversmiths were losing a lot of money because Paul was very successful, like I said. And so uh, the silversmiths all get together, decide that they need to uh, drag in some Christians into this kind of theater, amphitheater kind of situation, and they begin to riot. When they have uh, a Jewish man come up and try to reason with them, they start yelling, great is Artemis of the Ephesians over and over again as a chant. And so Paul tries to go, but they, uh, the disciples and, and a couple other people say, Paul, you can't go in there right now. And then finally, the city clerk quiets the crowd down by just reasoning with them, saying, you know, we're, we're all going to get charged with rioting. And, uh, you know, if you want if you have a real complaint, take it up with the courts because you can do that. But right now we need to get, get out of here and they hear them. So the two questions I get from this, uh, number one, is there something in your life that you know for a fact, or maybe you don't even know it. Maybe that's the thing you need to pray about, but is there something in your life that if it happened, you know, you wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> you know that you would either fly off the handle or you would get, so in a ball depressed or whatever the case may be what is something in your life that you think I don't have a grasp on this um for me I can't even think about losing my wife that would be I don't even want to bear the thought uh and so I have to I have to pray about this like I need to bring this to God uh and I bring that up because that's kind of the silversmiths they are so over the top about losing all this business and all this money, their livelihood, that they can't get a hold of themselves. They have to riot. So what's something in your life that you know you would be able to get a grasp of if it happened? And, and that you need to bring to God. You need to take it to God and say, what do I need to do about this? The second question is, um, as we get into a time of getting back together, what is something that you need to take to God also to allow for a cooler head to prevail. Uh, I know I've said this a lot, but this time of coming back together is going to be, there's going to be probably some disagreeing about how viruses work, how this whole situation with uh, social justice is working out, presidency, elections. Uh, what is something in your life that you need to say, you know what, if this comes up, I need to make sure that I have a cool head and that I say, this isn't worth it because we're worshiping God today. Because that's what the city clerk is doing. He's saying, guys, this isn't worth it today. So what's that thing in your life that you think, as we get together, as I meet with people, I need to have a cooler head? That's all I got. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day and enjoyed devotion today.